Sierra LLC Home Instruction Series presents Air Balancing. Hi guys, I'm Kyle with Sierra LLC, Service Manager, and today we're going to spend some time talking about air balancing with the registers. Air balancing is something that you as a homeowner can do very simply and the reason that you'd want to know how to do some air balancing in your home is because it's very common that sometimes you might have some hot and cold spots in the house and what that means is just simply uneven temperatures. You could have some variations or a couple degrees from room to room or area to area of the house and it's very easy for you as a homeowner to go and correct that. Uh, up here on the ceiling register, which some people call it a diffuser or a vent, uh, I'm going to call it a register, uh, you would notice that there's a little handle sticking down on the side of it. And that handle controls a damper blade that's built into the register. So if you go and move that, you'll notice that the damper blade is going to close a little bit and restrict the airflow coming out. And that's useful for you as a homeowner because if you're getting too much airflow into one room, uh, for instance, in the, in the wintertime when you're running the heat, you might have a little bit too much air in that room and it could get a little bit too warm. And conversely, the room next door to that might not be getting enough and could be a little bit cool. And what you can go ahead and do is just grab onto this handle and close it a little bit. And that's going to restrict the airflow coming into that room and divert that air to the other room that needs the air more than this. Um, now, just a couple things. I never recommend completely closing the damper. You can close it 80, 85 percent. And once you start getting to that point, what you would notice is you can start to hear the air coming through it. It gets a little bit louder because we're restricting that air. And that's something that we want to avoid. Um, even if it's a room that you never use, I, I never suggest completely closing it. Um, it that can cause uh, issues to the way the system runs. Um, so that's something simple that you can do as a homeowner. Go around from room to room and uh, make simple adjustments like that to, to help fine tune the amount of air that you need into that room. Um, and you may find that depending on the season, in the winter time you may need to open and close a couple of them and uh, in the summer you may need to go revert those adjustments. Um, another tip is if you're in a two-story home and you have two thermostats, one downstairs and one upstairs, uh, it's beneficial to have a two degree offset. And for instance, in the winter time when you're running the heater, we know that warm air rises. It has a tendency to go up. So a lot of times what happens is the upstairs will end up getting a little bit too warm because all the heat that comes downstairs ends up going upstairs. Um, so what you'd want to do is set the, the thermostat downstairs with a two degree difference from what the one upstairs is reading. Um, for instance, you'd set the upstairs thermostat at 75 degrees and the downstairs thermostat at 73. Uh, that way we're not putting too much heat downstairs and sending it back upstairs because that's going to cause uneven temperatures as well. Uh, and then it would be vice versa that in the, in the summertime when you're running the cooling, the cold air is going to want to drop. Uh, so when you're running the cooling upstairs, it can sometimes overcool downstairs a little bit because that cold air is, is dropping downstairs. Uh, so those are a couple tips for you to help balance the air out and, and keep it more of an even temperature in your home. Uh, and it's something simple for you to do. So hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, getting a little bit more comfort in your home. Thank you for watching.